the waggly tail. How much is that dog in the window? I do hope that dog eats for sale. I must take a trip to California and leave my poor sweetheart alone. But if he has a dog, he won't be lonesome. And the dog, he will have a good home. How much is that dog in the window? The one with the waggly tail. How much is that dog in the window? I do hope that dog eats for sale. I read in the papers there are robbers with flashlights that shine in the dark. My sweetheart needs a dog to protect him and scare them away with one bark. How much is that dog in the window? The one with the waggly tail. How much is that dog in the window? I do hope that dog is for sale. I don't want a bunny or a kitty. I don't want a parrot that talks. I don't want a bowl of little fishies who can't take goldfish for a walk. How much is that dog in the window? The one with the waggly tail. How much is that dog in the window? I do hope that dog eats for sale. <laughs> Thank you, Sasha and Dina and Nika. Now, let me introduce our very own elementary school art teacher, Mrs. Piper. Hello. Thank you for having me here today. I feel very honored to have been asked to be here today, especially because this art show that was created is about two things I'm very passionate about, art and dogs. And before I even continue, I just want to thank Mrs. Pasternak for putting together such an amazing event. And of course, I don't think he's here, but Mr. Boyer from the store, Bookends, for letting you have the event here. It's really nice to have the community support when you're creating art. And the students, I just have to say, the work is beautiful. Um, students I have at Treville and the students who I've just met today did a great job with their artwork. I love that people painted, they used collage, they did drawings. There's quite a variety of work there, and it's really beautiful. So you should all be very proud of your work. When I was your age, that's when I really started finding my passion for art. And I remember getting a, a book about drawing, and one of the drawings that I still have today that I saved, that I was able to draw from that book, was a book, was a drawing of a dog. And I still have that drawing saved today, that one drawing from the book. And that really kind of inspired me, having that book and learning how to draw with lines and with shapes and really studying that book and taking the time outside of school to look at it and learn how to do it on my own. So it's great to see you guys doing this work outside of school. I'd love to see that you have the same passion that I have for art, and you should continue to do it at every chance you get. One of the things that my students ask me at Travel all the time is, how do you draw that? You know, how did you do that? And I just tell them the same thing every time. I tell them, keep practicing. It takes a lot of years, a lot of hard work, but keep practicing, you'll get better. And art, I don't know if anyone had a chance to read the very nice statement on the wall that Mrs. Pasternak wrote, but she mentioned that art was about expressing yourself and about love, and it really comes from your inside. So I would say I feel the same way about it, that you're really expressing yourself when you're creating art, and everyone is unique. They have a different view of the world around them, and different things inspire you. So I just want to encourage all of the kids here today to continue making art and continue your passion, passion for it. And don't be afraid to be unique and be yourself. Whatever you're feeling, use that in your artwork and create according to how you feel. So thank you again for having me here today, and I'm very proud of the work. 